Don't thank me. Thank the knife, which is linked in the description. Which I do need to get rid of this blade now, because it is looking nasty. Zeus, why don't you get a real knife? Like a sog or something. It's like, no, because I could hit this button here, and this bottom half just flies away, and then I have I'll put a new one on. Okay. It feels like early morning, but I've been up for like two hours. Let's, let's unbox things. Let's unbox. Oh, fuck. Oh, I fucked the envelope up. Oh, fuck. Now I'm going to go. Now I went full. Full titty. Oh! Goodbye. This, I linked this. I think I put. You know what? I didn't post this on um, YouTube as like a hey, everybody. So, if you guys know that I loved, loved the um, extra cable that came with the ZS10s, right? The little, uh, the uh, KZ ZS10s. And I was like, look, you don't need another cable, but this one's available. So, for $26, you can get a cable. But here's the thing. You can't, you don't just get the cable for the ZS10s. On the page that this has on Amazon, Triple Win, uh... They make this level of good cable, right? This fucking perfectly straight, beautifully fucking weaved, silver uh, outside, copper core motherfucker with three tip options. So this is a 4.4 Pentacon. They make a two and a half balanced and they make a three and a half unbalanced. And then they make three different actual connector options, which this is the specific one I bought this cable. I bought this cable. The company sent me it originally, and I'm like, fuck that. I can't wait for them. I can't talk. We gotta, we gotta do this now. The specific cable. Ah. Ah. I purchased so I could run 4.4 Pentacon on my Ico OH10s because they don't use just the normal pins. Actually, they do use just two pins. But they're, they also, what's the other set of IEMs I use that have. They have MMCX 2-pin and uh, that weird 2-pin with the shield around it. So now I can run my Ico OH10s balance. Nothing wrong with the Ico cable. And Pasta can link the Ico OH10s. I-K-K-O, baby. I-K-K-O. I-K-K-O. I mean, look, it's a nice cable. But it ain't balanced. And uh, I gotta know. I have not run these balanced yet. Now I'm going to be able to. Uh, uh. Fuck yeah. Okay. So now, now we're entering into the fuck yeah territory. I did wait a while. A couple weeks for this cable to arrive. Which is why I'm a little bit more excited than normal. I just like... Just, uh, and it ain't the thickness. It's the lightness and the fucking bendy. And oh god, I'm going to be able to listen to that balanced. So, moving on. Now that I've, uh, so that you could order, if you sat there and you ordered nine different cables, you could have every possible combination for an IEM you'd ever need, except when some company puts out one of those stupid cables. Oh. So SMSL, the, uh, well, the distributor who sent me this, sent me another M100 which is their DAC. I've already reviewed this. This has already been reviewed, the SMS LM100. They sent me one because they sent me the little tube variant. And they're like, hey, when you do the tube variant, could you do with the DAC too? And I'm like, I sold the DAC in the yard sale. I sell a lot of things in the yard sale. So they're just like, all right, here you go, here's another one. So, what have we got? This is a very clean thing. This is like up there in the $100 DAC range with aux power or power power. Fiber optic in, coaxial in, RCA outs, glass fascia, which this doesn't have a appealable shield. So, who knows? Maybe I'll bring that to RMAF. Can always use more DAX at RMAF. So that there. That thing's fucking great. And finally, and I'm going to talk, for this one, talk about this one for a bit. These are the VR, VR Retractable Odyssey VR Pack 6-Pack. Because if you watch these unboxings and they come out in any sort of order, you know I now have a, um, a valve index. And it is glorious. And you know I run it here in my living room. And the way it works is my computer's in the other room. I moved it to this side. There's a hole in the floor. 
We're in the wall. That would be the floor. That's the wall. And here's the wire that comes out, the cable that comes out, and here's the VR headset. Ooh, but when you are VRing, and in my living room, you're VRing in the middle of my living room. Uh, here's what we got. Big metal fucking thing. I bought those magnets. I bought these magnets which are exceptionally strong and I like I can't pull like, this is this is shock cord elastic and I can't like like I'm resting my whole arm on one magnet that's holding on to a very thick piece of metal and that's great but shock cord elastic's not going to work because my screen comes down my projector's there and when you get the VR wire like the wire has gone from there to here but now I've got an extension I put, oh, it's another thing we're gonna talk about. I didn't unbox these because I needed to test real quick. This is a three foot display port adapter. Pasta said, make sure you don't get a UDP cable. And I'm like, what? And she looked up and apparently she looked up that display port extensions usually don't work. So my first display port extension, getting off topic and off we're actually, what we're actually unboxing, unboxing, back, 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 was, a 10 foot uh, cable matters. This is in my shopping cart, but 10 foot display port extension. Now, keep in mind the headset already has a 15 foot cable plus an umbilical, and adding 10 more feet to that caused digital snow. It was red and green dots everywhere, just fucking doing things. And then all of a sudden there was like, you know when you plug in a really bad HDMI cable? I don't know, not many of you have experienced this, but you get like snow and f weird feedback on a TV. Now imagine wearing that and having like weird effects and then artifacting happening. It's like, ah, ah. So that was not gonna happen. So as soon as that erred, I bought a three foot and a six foot. And luckily the six foot does not give me any interference. It's literally a matter of four feet more cable. The signal degrades. And this is an extra three footer, which I'm probably not gonna return in case I ever need a display port that's three inches long. So links to that page, which has three foot, six foot and 10 foot DisplayPort extensions from Cable Matters. They're really well built. This 10 footer was just too long. The six footer seems to be perfect, which back to what I'm talking about. When I had my headset here, I hung it here and the wire and it went to here. That's how far I could get the thing to go through the wall and up and over, which meant I can only get about this close to the corner here before my head starts getting like, oh, fuck. So, Three foot might have fixed that, six foot will definitely fix that. However, the biggest problem with VR, and actually there's two big problems with VR, but the biggest problem I have currently is the wire is trying to kill me and I need to organize it. And my friend had these in his room and they were hilariously, like it, he had a permanent setup and I need my setup to go away. I want my living room to look, oh look, it's the living room. Whom? What are those black boxes in the corners? By the way, those are the lighthouses with the white brackets and hidden in the channel and it's, oh, oh, it's so clean and I want it to be clean. I don't want you to notice I have a VR set up in this living room. And that's where these are gonna come in. These are wire tensioners. Now I'm sure they make these, they made these for years and sold them for like keychains. And then someone said, hey, VR exists and we could probably profit from it. So what this is, is just a little spoolie spool with a little rubber band there. Six of them come in a package with extra cording and Allen keys. And these are terrible looking. These are things what they want you to hook to the ceiling with. We'll open all this stuff up, at least one of them. But anyway, this, do I have a thing to hook this onto? Excuse me. So this just literally extends <laughs> about that far. How far was that? There. So that's five feet. And that's all it does. And then it pulls back. So you attach this to the wire on your headset. And when you walk away from wherever it's hanging, it pulls out and lets you walk. And then when you're walking back towards the middle, it lets it back in. Very simple design. I like it. Now, 
I'm probably going to need to put two of these up there. I'm not gonna add any holes or anything to the ceiling, and I'm not gonna probably use any of this stuff, which it does come with. These are a double stick them, so you peel this off. And there's a sticky pad with a flower design and then a hook. So the idea is you take this and you would just go from your computer and you do wall, ceiling, 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 and I'd probably double some of these up for like where the actual center was. And then you hook this bastard onto it, which that is a terrible design, because it's like, ugh, I mean, I guess it, it won't pull off if there's no like thing. And then you just walk around and you do your, your shit with it. So what my goal is gonna be is, I can get this off if I pull it diagonal, but I'm afraid I'm gonna smash it into a TV or something, so I may get my step ladder out. God, that's on there. That's a much thicker piece of metal than is in my wall. That will not fall off when I pull it. But my goal, well that's what the set, those Allen keys for, they're to, they're to set how far in this goes. And it is steel, this is a steel wire. It's got good tension. I might have too much tension. I don't know. I don't want it to feel like I'm being pulled still, even though I'm not. So I may try to do with just one. I may end up using just two of these out of the six. Because coming out of there is fixed. Coming up to this is going to be fixed. Then maybe from the corner of here, just having it go out a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to see because the, the headset should now hang down to the floor. And that's fine, I just needed to tension the wire so that what I'm wandering around in this. Oh, remember I said there was two problems with VR? One is the wire to your headset. The other one is I make a lot more lefts than I make rights. And when you're doing this, like in VR, and you're just like, you're wandering around somewhere, and you're just like, oh, right, no, left, left. Your wire twists like a motherfucker. And so there is an actual application, uh that I don't remember the name of, but my friend, I'll, oh, shit, pasta, it's in the shopping channel, pasta, that spin right, spin right, spin fit, spin right, that actually counts how many times you've spun in one direction, so that you don't end up spinning 13 times in one direction and have your wire get all fucked up. So no one even think, no one thought of that, and I don't know why I have to have an add-on and that isn't built into all VR programs. Because that shit is fucking annoying. When you, when you turn, all of a sudden you feel the wire in the back of your head go. Does that thing where you like, you curled it too much and it loops. You've done that with a headphone cable, I'm sure. And then all of a sudden this is attached to the back of your head and you can't fucking see it. It's like, ah! So there's a lot of ah in VR. So, these, oh actually wait. Oh, they come with mega hooks too if you wanted to. This kit is not bad for like $17. Ah. Uh, look at that. They come with big rubberized hooks with with anchors if you wanted to really get absurd and mount this shit. Now I'm gonna do a little bit, I'm not gonna damage anything because I have metal and magnets and metal and magnets and metal and magnets. Links to these magnets again because that's gonna be what I do with this and I'm probably gonna shorten up this space with the Allen key because it can roll all the way in. There's no reason it shouldn't. And then I've got to make a way so that I could at least detach it from there with force and put everything away so that there's no wires or hanging, sh nothing. So that'll be done. There'll be a video on this channel. It's Mad Science Sarah. The part three will be concerning that. So thank you for joining me on this very long unboxing. Are you not happy? Downvote this video. Are you happy? Upvote this video. Click P secret link, it says in here. I should share my experience by writing a review on Amazon. The end.